Hi everybody, welcome back to Eat Italy Easy. Today we are going to learn how to prepare a wonderful carbonara. Let's start with the ingredients for 8 servings. 8 eggs. We are going to use 4 entire eggs and 4 yolk. Black ground pepper. Pecorino cheese. Parmigiano cheese. Then we have the guanciale, or in some cases you can use pancetta, so if you like, you can use bacon. And then rigatoni. Rigatoni is a, a very, very common uh, kind of pasta in Italy. Uh, usually we have a carbonara with spaghetti, but today we're going to use rigatoni that are a little different with its short pasta and uh, they have a small secret uh, when they are made with carbonara. Let's start with the preparation. Okay, take uh, the guanciale, remove the rind, we have one pound of guanciale. Now let's start with the hex that are the second most important ingredients. We have to use only the jolk for, uh, for hex. So just open the hex and uh, remove the white part. Wonderful. Now for entire eggs. So our carbonara will uh, have a very very nice yellow color. Okay, now take the bowl, start mixing. We have to make a sort of uh, cream, but never 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 add milk cream. Carbonara is not with milk cream. Then you can add the pecorino, the black ground pepper that gives the soul of your carbonara. Maybe you can uh, choose how much uh, black ground pepper to use, it depends on your taste. Uh, usually carbonara is uh, quite dark and, and quite full of ground pepper. We made everything, now we have to go to the hooks and cook the pasta and then mix everything together. Of course we have to cook the, the guanciale. Okay, now let's prepare the bacon for our carbonara. Take a large pan and put on the fire. Okay, then add just the pieces of guanciale. No oil, nothing else. No onions, no garlic. Nothing, just one challenge. Okay, in the meanwhile, we will put the pasta into the boiling water. So in 10 minutes uh, it will be ready. Okay, wonderful. Always remember to put salt uh, in the boiling water. Okay, now that the bacon is ready, remove the bacon and leave uh, the grease into the pan. Okay, we will uh, add uh, just a little white wine to blend uh, the taste, but we remove the bacon, we remove the guanciale to, uh, to keep it uh, crispy, that it's uh, very nice. Now that the pasta is uh, nearly ready, not completely ready, we dry the pasta and add that to the to the grease. Okay. Mix everything. The pasta continues to cook uh, while uh, still on fire. Remember to cook pasta al dente. Never cook too much. Always respect uh, the time on the box. Uh, of pasta. 
Now we can add the bacon back and continue mix everything. Okay, and now you can add the last, the last ingredient, the mixture of eggs, cheese and pepper. Mix everything and switch off the fire, otherwise you're gonna have a frittata. Okay, we are ready. We, we decided to use rigatoni because rigatoni with carbonara have a small secret. Big rigatoni are empty inside and uh, usually you can eat uh, rigatoni carbonara and sometimes you can find a small gift inside the rigatoni, a little piece of guanciale that is wonderful because you don't expect it. We would like 